don't compromise the mind is expert in tricking us it will always create excuses and one excuse will lead to the other to the other until we will hear it all and still remain the same don't make excuses make it a commitment as somebody said when you are interested in something you do it when you like when you are committed to something you do it whether you like or you don't like one traveler writes in his book he was traveling in africa and he came across a cannibal tribe these cannibals they eat humans he was astonished that one of the tribe's men had been educated in america he said after american english education you still eat human flesh then what is the difference that cannibal said the difference is earlier i used to eat it with my fingers now i eat it with knife and fork <laughs> that's not much of a difference is it what does it count for it's so easy for our mind to make excuses you know i could not do it because the bird went over the head there's a inspiring story about awareness from the japanese tradition there has been a great sword fencer called mata juro yagyu his father was also a great sword fencer but his father trained the other sons and he gave up on this guy that you are no good so nevertheless mata juro yagyu went to another the greatest swordsman of the land and he said will you teach me this that master said i will but you will do exactly as i say and you will not use your intellect mata juro yagyu said all right start cleaning the vessels of the monastery mata juro yagyu started cleaning the vessels and he had to cook and then he had to clean the room and get the water from the river and this went on and on and on one year went by second year went by he started getting disappointed there is no talking as well of the sword fencing i had come to learn it and there is no question about it i only clean vessels and take care of the house a third year went by finally that master he came from behind one day mata juro yagyu was cleaning a vessel he whacked <gasps> he said be careful henceforth i can come and hit you at any time is all right now he started developing his awareness and this master would come and whack him at any time slowly slowly he started getting more and more alert until he would be able to gauge and judge and dodge until his awareness developed even more when the merest whiff and he would turn around and probably catch the stick or something so the master said now you are ready now i will teach you sword fencing so it's a question of being completely aware don't make excuses he is pretty strict he says irrespective of time place circumstance make it like a universal vow make it a commitment when you are interested in something you do it when you like when you are committed to something you do it whether you like or you don't like that's the kind of commitment he is demanding 
don't make compromises this will require tremendous awareness you know the opposite of awareness is carelessness the devotees have their own way of being aware be aware of the presence of god maharaj ji says be aware that god and guru are with you and watching you all the time so this kind of carefulness requires a great motivation and a great dedication you need to have complete lack of carelessness and complete application to the task this will come when you have a strong why a strong reason motivating you and the biggest reason motivating us is that the human form is a golden chance for the salvation of the soul if we don't utilize it we will go back haji sahab you are a human being in this life what are you going to become in your next life ji i am going to become a dadha my god after the human being you're becoming a dadha you've gone back down yes i did not utilize the chance i had so the opportunity is tremendous but the time span is limited and that time is slipping out of our hands you know like you lift up sand on the beach and you find it is slipping out until nothing is left so also is human life we think i have got so many years but without realizing it one by one the years go by It was only a few years ago that you passed out of college. It was only a few more years before that that you entered school as a little child. How quickly the time has gone by. How quickly 2015 went by. Half of 2016 has also disappeared. And it's never going to come back. did we make the best use of it one moment that we wasted is one moment lost forever chanakya pandit said sahanis tanmah chhidram samoha savibhramah yan muhurtam kshanam vapi vasudevam na chintayet he says what is the biggest loss in life that moment which you don't utilize in remembering vasudev shri krishna and why don't we utilize carelessness we know what we are supposed to do but we don't do it because of carelessness so that carelessness makes us waste squander the opportunity that is why to implement this we need to motivate ourselves you see when the motivation is there the most challenging thing becomes easy and when the motivation is not there the smallest difficulty seems like an unassailable wall so this motivation has to come in other words a deep hunger jagat guru shankara acharya has said durlabham trayam aidvaita daiva nugrah karakam manushyatvam mukshutvam mahapurusha sambhava he says these are three special graces of god the first is the human form 
everybody here has got that grace the second is the guidance of the saints that also we have got the third is hunger hunger for the ultimate goal now you all have got it to a certain extent that's why you have come here but that one grace needs to be enhanced in other words the hunger has to be deepened the deeper the hunger the harder we shall endeavor and the harder we endeavor the more careful we will be In this age, we see an unprecedented increase in the collective knowledge of humankind. There are numerous institutions and online resources for acquiring knowledge. Despite this informational flood, an enormous development in technologies and standard of living, we are witnessing an increase in confusion, stress, discontentment, decay of spiritual wisdom and human values. For the upliftment of mankind, Jagat Guru Sri Kripaluji Maharaj, who was an embodiment of spiritual knowledge and divine bliss, extracted and reconciled the wisdom from the enormous ocean of Vedic scriptures and made it understandable and accessible for everyone. To spread Maharaji's mission to planetary scales, Swami Mukadanandji has undertaken a monumental task of building Jagat Guru Kripalu University. Understanding the needs of present-day humanity, Swamiji's vision combines cutting-edge scientific disciplines with ancient Vedic wisdom, making JKU a one-of-a-kind blend. The university will encompass the areas of Vedic philosophy, yoga, contemporary sciences, technologies, holistic medicine and arts. Construction of this millennial complex is at full swing on a hundred acre land in Orissa, India. It will play a crucial role in uplifting physical, mental and spiritual well-being of millions of people worldwide. The university will provide education and health care to the underprivileged in rural areas of Orissa. This synergy of modern and ancient wisdom will be a stepping stone to revive the glorious past of Bharatvarsh. Today, you have once in a lifetime opportunity to become Swamiji's angel and support his dream project. Alone, we can go so far, but together, we can re-establish India as the Jagat Guru of the world. Donate or raise funds for this noble cause Every contribution will have a huge impact. Become a part of this historic event.